Smart Controller 1 Installation The STP-SC1 cover is held in place with one screw. Remove the screw, then the cover. Choose the location where the Smart Controller will be mounted. The box is designed to be mounted indoors in a non-hazardous location. Two screws will hold the box to the wall. Use a pencil to mark the screw locations. Drill two small holes on the pencil marks. Be sure the holes are not too large for the screws that you will be using. Use two screws to mount the smart controller onto the wall. Knockouts are provided for conduit. Do not drill holes in the smart controller. Use the knockouts provided. Run the motor leads, power wires, and dispenser signal wires into the smart controller. Be sure to confirm that power is off. Start by installing the line power wires, or L1 and L2. The wires should be stripped to approximately 3 8 of an inch. Be sure to terminate the wires on the stripped portion of the wire, not the insulation. Next, terminate the ground wire to either of the ground lugs. There are two lugs provided, one in each lower corner of the smart controller. Next, terminate the dispenser signal or hook wires. This terminal block is located in the lower right portion of the smart controller and is not polarity sensitive. One terminal gets the dispenser signal wire, the other will get the neutral. This neutral can come from the power panel. There are two motor leads, M1 and M2, that will go out to the submersible pump. Before terminating these wires, do a quick continuity check to ground, confirming that they are not shorted. Terminate the motor leads in the terminals marked M1 and M2. Give the wires a tug to be sure they are secure in the terminals. Replace the cover and the screw. And you are now ready to apply power.